what up, yo? We finished the stew. I have them packed in two of these, basically, is how much we made with a little bit of extra. And I've got a bowl here, which is really incredible. I added some tuna. I'm going on a protein overload. It's so good. It's mildly tangy. Very like, almost creamy. It's like, you know, it's grainy, but it's so broken down that it's, and with the sweet potato, it's like kind of almost a creamy, very easy to eat. I told Nick, it's like, this is the kind of stuff we feed old people, man. It's so healthy. And now I'm gonna add some sauerkraut. When you get sauerkraut, make sure you get the organic stuff because they'll put like sodium chloride in it as like a preservative, but these ingredients are like, you got cabbage, sea salt, garlic. That's all you want in your, in your uh, sauerkraut. It's so important that you get the stuff without the preservatives other than salt. Salt's a natural preservative. So it's incredible. It's a hit. I'm so glad I made it. Mm. He's praying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my no That tomato. Oh, she got it. She swallowed it. She's gonna swallow it whole. Because posture improved. He's grown a little spur thing, it looks like. Where? On his legs. Oh, cool. What are those for? I don't know. Stabbing people. And mounting the other chickens? Holding them in place? Mm. Dorothy's sitting on the eggs right now. <laughs> I 
just looking at is I want good frame rails. I can repair any kind of body rust. I need a good transmission. I need a lot of towing power. The new ones, the ones that run and are in good condition, go for about six grand. How much was this one? A thousand plus three hundred for towing. And I think that by the time we replace the parts needed, we're gonna come well under two and a half grand. We're gonna turn this into a mobile, like networking station where we can uh, code from. We'll have a small, like some drop down beds in it, and a tiny little, like portable bathroom. So it's just gonna be like a outpost for when we're on the road. Every time you buy a used vehicle, you want to change all the fluids, especially if you don't know the previous driving conditions it was in. We have an uh, electric pressure wash that we bought from the local hardware store in Frederick. And so I didn't specifically buy this for this van, I just bought it mostly for that car and the truck there. But this is the perfect use for it. We have a little bit of water, yep. Not the door. Wow, that's cool. It like it has a pressure uh, it only runs Today we're making octopus. We're frying and grilling. I'm going to use some white wine vinegar in this pan with some water to boil for about 20 minutes and then it will sear for five. Let's do about something like half a cup of vinegar. A little less than that, maybe two thirds. You should know how to measure psychic good. These guys here are pretty good. They've already been pre-cleaned because I'm lazy. Let this sit in the vinegar and water. It's already salty. Great. Okay, Bixby, set an alarm for 20 minutes. Hey, Alexa, set an alarm for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. There we go. So now I'm gonna go make sure the barbecue's working. Sandals made out of bricks. Uh, this will take probably about 20 minutes. You know, there's a little bit of math going on here. What kind of food can you cook in the sauna? Huh, what can you cook in the sauna? We could smoke meats in the sauna, but then it would smell like that forever. We probably should make, uh, when that sauna is done, just turn it into a meat smoker. That would be like a thing. We could smoke like shark. Have you ever seen them ferment shark?
the thing about octopods, or what's the? Oh, <laughs> now I have to start over because uh, I have to remember the octopod, 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 octopontus. If you think about like the most terrifying thing you can imagine, it's probably not even conceivably nearly as terrible as an octopod. You know, any one of these cephalopod creatures are these spineless, boneless, slimy, uh, Jurassic creatures from a, 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 a marine space called literally the Twilight Zone, which can change their bodies into a camouflage to look any way they want, but they have these giant beaks around a donut-shaped brain that swallows you up by using its tentacles to twirl these propeller-like fangs, which will then make you into a smoothie that can fit between its brain, and it will drink you. And you think this is as far as it can reach with its arms, but there's two more arms, which go just a little bit further and pull you back in. So, theoretically, there's nothing scarier. It's like a giant parrot with nine tentacle fangs just flying at you in the sea. And there are tons of stories of drunk fishermen, especially from the coast where I live, uh, being pulled out of a boat at night into the sea by a Humboldt squid, which can grow from about, you know, less than an inch to six and a half feet in about 18 months. So the squid's one of those things where if you don't eat it, it's gonna eat you. All right, let's drain this. keep flipping it. That, this is the one thing I flip over and over. So for most things, you flip once. If it was like a steak, one flip. If you do it more than that, you're doing it wrong. Sorry. But if you expect on a grill to get a perfect sear on the octopus tail, like see there, you're gonna lose this leg if I'm not careful. Can I get him? Oh, it's so bummery. Can't quit. I can save you. Oh, it's a bummer. There we go. So, you gotta be careful, because you can overflip, and then you can also underflip, and you can burn the tail, and then it won't be very good. Try to do it along the surface like that. And you can tell once it starts to feel like nice and really. See, look at that. Uh, can you, you can kind of like, you, the way I would say it, can you feel that? Like how it's, that's what you want. That's, that's good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Nothing says, Good workout session, like a little bit of octopus. <laughs> right? What'd you marinate? Just a little bit of, um, it's, it's just, uh, I guess I used a little, I boiled it first with some white wine vinegar. Okay. Just a small, like half, like two thirds of a cup. What but, made you think pesto? Uh, just because it, I like pesto and it good. The cheese was a weird part. I was like, I don't know if Parmesan and octopus is gonna work right. But like, it felt like if it was too strong of an octopus, then the cheese would help. Yeah. It works. The other option would have been like peanut butter curry and batter, because Chris was like, batter it. So I think I it might be. Because it's less, it's more simple. It's, it's, you get the flavor of the octopus. You're my ally. Thank you. <laughs>